What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to a Saturday edition of Morning Scone. Whispering a little bit here this morning. Uh, not a little bit, a lot. Uh, it is 8.20, and Drew is still sleeping. Um, this is like a world record. He's very seldom in his life ever slept until 8, let alone past 8. So the fact that we're at 8.20 is remarkable. Uh, he will probably not be taking a nap today. But his, uh, he's in the room, like right on the other side of this wall. Uh, and, the, and my office doors are open and the bedroom doors are open so I can hear him if he wakes up. So uh, probably just going to be whispering a little bit until he'll probably wake up during the show. But uh, anyway, we're presented by Boudreaux's, Bloody Mary Mix, Margarita Mix. Glad y'all are here. Uh, Trey Dykes, Don Borg, James Tyrone, Houston Carly, good morning. Tim Sonier, Angela Perriman, Kevin Toller, Blake Darius, Elise Landry, Burgess, Travis McGraw, what's up, y'all? What's up, what's up? Tom Granny, good morning. Charlie Gale, let's see, I'm gonna hit the share button. Uh, hopefully, y'all will do the same. Share it to your, uh, your profile on your feed there. That'd be awesome. Uh, Championship Saturday, pretty fired up for it. Uh, I think the best game of the day is gonna be the first game of the day, the, uh, the Big 12 Championship with Oklahoma and Texas. Uh, every other game the rest of the day I think is going to be a complete blowout, except maybe Central Florida and Memphis. I think Memphis has a, has a decent shot of winning that game, and that would, that would shake up uh, you know, LSU's uh, bowl destination for sure. Uh, Kerry Tompley, Jamie Fitch, good morning. Craig Savoy, Eric Sonier, Danny Bradham, good morning. Mikel, good morning. Kirk Taylor, what's up? Brady Smith, what's up, Dad? Good morning. Andrew LaFleur, Blake Rafino. Thank you, Blake. I appreciate that. Oh, Blake said he's praying for Drew. I appreciate that. Yeah, we, um, looks like, um, it's not set yet, but, uh, very likely sometime in January, uh, you may be mid or late January, we'll be looking at heading back to Houston for, for surgery for Drew. So, uh, if y'all could keep all of us, certainly Drew and his, uh, his docs in your prayers, that would be awesome. We'd appreciate it. Let's see, Tom said, good morning, on the way back from Troy, after seeing Elton John last night. Troy, Alabama, Elton John played in Troy, Alabama. Saw Elton John a couple times, man, he is phenomenal live. We saw, uh, actually, this is how good of a brother I am. When I was in college, I took my sister, no, I was out of college, she was in college still, so, uh, for her birthday, I took her to see Elton John in Lafayette. We, so we grew up on Elton John. Like, my dad was a big Elton John fan. So, like, in the 80s, um, you know, we grew up listening to some of the old Elton John stuff. Even, like, obscure tracks like, you know, I Want to Kiss the Bride and stuff like that. Um, so grew up huge. Elton John, Eagle, Jimmy Buffett, um, Doobie Brothers, Almond Brothers. Like, that was the kind of stuff my dad listened to. So you kind of listen to what your parents listen to, right? So I grew up on a lot of that stuff. Um Anyway, Elton John was awesome. He played for like three hours straight, didn't take a break. It was awesome. Played everything. Played like a nine-minute version of Rocket Man, uh, like with a pedal echo. It was sensational. Anyway, um, I hope he's still that good. That's That's been... What year was that? 2004? In 14 years? Oh, my God. Time goes so fast, man. Oh, my God. All right, uh, Trey Dykes. Will you have Lafayette cover? Trey, I don't even know who they're playing, man. Sorry. Um, good luck to the Peppers. I hope it goes well for them today. Uh, I always pull for Louisiana schools. I just didn't even know that they were playing. Sorry. Uh, Tim Sonia, man, that hunt video is brutal. What, what hunt video? What hunt video? Let me know which one you're talking about, Tim, or link it here. I don't know which one you're talking about. David Childers, Sean Kelly, good morning. Uh, James Tyrone, good morning from Nashville. Appreciate you watching up there. Jack Vaughn, what's up? Corey Kaye, good morning. Ty Levine, good morning. Brian Ashcraft, Ryan Amos, Jeremy Aldridge, Don Joe Lebois. What's up, everybody? Glad you're watching. Jamie Fitch, Premier League starts in 40 minutes. Can't wait. I bet I know where Gordy Rush is. Gordy's probably at the Londoner watching uh, the Premier League. Um... I think he's probably mad at me. If y'all are on Twitter, um, last night, so Gordy was doing, uh, let's see if I can pull this up for y'all. 
Um, so Gordy was hosting Louisiana Prep scoreboard last night. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, I'm a little snotty this week. Um, so Gordy's hosting Louisiana Prep scoreboard, which is obviously our scoreboard show for the high school games and everything. Well, it's like ten thirty or so, and and uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, you know, Eric is putting Drew down and all this stuff. Well, I get a text from Michael Cobble from WBRZ, and it's a it's a screen grab of Gordy from the show, <laughs> and it's the worst picture. It's like a tight shot. He's doing like this anyway. So I go and grab a, a picture of Butthead from Beavis and Butthead, and this and I did a, a photo grid side by side, and this is what I tweeted. Separated at birth, at Geo Rush, hashtag Butthead. So I tweeted that last night. <laughs> oh man. Um. Anyway, so. He 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 replies and says something to the effect of, "We're now looking for a new afternoon host, from th a three to six host." <laughs> uh, please send applications to Gordy at <laughs> one hundred and five ESPN. Oh man, that was fun. oh 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 oh. The hunt video I got the Kareem hunt video. When you said hunt video, I thought Hunt Palmer showed my brain is. We can talk about that in a little bit, about the cream hunt thing for sure. Uh, anyway, so Gordy is probably right now watching, uh, getting ready for Premier League soccer. He might jump on here. I'd be, be you, you can tell we have we have a good time at work. Um, we got a good culture up at that guarantee. Bobby Rogers, good morning. Uh, Jeb Whitley, morning scone. Rebecca Creek, Texas Ranger blended. Picked it up yesterday. Trying to find some things with a sweet finish to get into. Just starting. I always been a craft beer guy. Love the show. Thoughts and prayers to you, Ian Drew. Cool, Jeff. Um, so the Texas Ranger blended. I, I have it right there, as a matter of fact. Uh, I've not tried it yet. If you want something sweeter, you're going to want to go with rye. Like you want to find your rye, your rye whiskey. Um, one that, I know I've mentioned it before, one that is very affordable and, um, and very good. Pinhook rye. Everything Pinhook does is really good. The um, the rye you'll see has the green wax. This is about 30, 35 bucks. It's very, very affordable. Um, and it's really very good. It's got the horse on it. It's you know blend it's a it's distilled in Kentucky, so um, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Anyway, so if you're looking for you'll see right there on the label it says bourbon and rye. It's got the green wax. If you're looking for something sweet, Pinhook is a, Pinhook Rye is a good way to it's good a four boy to go. There's some more expensive ryes. Like I love Whistle Pig. I've talked about that a ton. That's that's probably my favorite rye. Um that's probably my favorite thing to drink, period. But um Whistle Pig's just a bit more expensive. So like the ten year is gonna run you about seventy bucks. For the twelve year is gonna be hundred, hundred ten. They got a fifteen year, which is about one thirty, but really the ten year is is phenomenal. I mean, the twelve year is I mean, is better than the ten year, but the ten year for seventy bucks is amazing if you want to spend that. So, um, but if you don't want to go that high end yet, stick stick with something like that. You can also, you know, what else is really good? I mean, Sazerac rye is really good. I mean, I'll pour this on ice and drink that, or this is good for mixing as well. So those are two really good ones, FYI. So, anyway, you know, if you're just looking, let's see. Robert, thank you very much. Appreciate that, man. Uh, Kirk Taylor, Pac-12 attendance was sad. Um, you know what? Uh, yes, it, it was. And it goes to show you that as much as other conferences have tried to recreate what the SEC has done with their championship game, not many can. Um, and this shirt, I was reminded of this because some of y'all have asked about Team Drew shirts. Um, Eric Hedrick, who... Uh, owns a Bengals and Bandits, really cool LSU apparel shop. Um, when when we were in the hospital with Drew, uh, Jacques Doucet put on a, a concert for Drew, uh, a fundraiser concert. And um, they had these 
these shirts made purple with like with the, like the kids blocks uh, with drew on it and uh, Eric sold these at Bengals and Bandits and I don't I, my, I, I would be willing to bet he had extras I don't know that he sold out of them um, so if you're really interested that would be my because like we didn't we Eric and I never printed any shirts like her school printed some team drew shirts um, kind of like as a school fundraiser to support us um, and then I mentioned Jacques did these and Eric did these for Jacques fundraiser um, so you know like I don't it's not like I have a box of them just sitting around and we never we never did any of them um, but I would say if you go to Bengals and Bandits website or shoot Eric an email over Bengals and Bandits, he may have so like if, like this this I think he he also made a blue one, like it was you know, it was like baby blue with like red you know blocks and all, and then they made a purple and gold one too. Um, so if you really want a Team Drew shirt, that would be my my best guess would be go at would be Bengals and Bandits. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. Kevin said, take a quick minute to recognize former President George Bush. Rest in peace to a great president. Yeah, I saw the news last night, man. Um, uh, for sure. It's all, it always doesn't always feel uh, super impactful when a president dies. Like, um, you know, I certainly remember um, watching President Nixon's funeral um, and President Reagan as well. So I'll, I'll watch that. It's just, a, it's, and you know, it'll be, it's an historic event. I mean, you know, uh, you're talking about 45 men in the history of mankind have been a president of the United States. So um, regardless of political affiliation, I really don't care. That's not my thing. Uh, just for the historic nature of it, certainly. And, and President Bush, H.W. Bush, both President Bush, I think, always carried, them, carried themselves a lot of class and dignity. So um, certainly. And it is interesting, not, I, nothing more than just an observation, but, um, you know, just a short time after Barbara died, that, that President Bush died as well. Um, I saw they were married for 73 years. My goodness, like, I can imagine, like, when your partner 73 years dies, it's got to feel like a piece of you died, you know. Um, but yes, thank you for mentioning that. Uh, Mark Allen, what's up? Uh Three hours, Tom was, John, John was a three hour show. Yeah, man, just like, I remember, that's awesome. Mikhail, the Boudreaux's margarita mix is awesome. And my friends love the Bloody Mary mix. Thank you so much. Oh, by the way, if you missed it yesterday, I posted on uh, on my, my Facebook and on Twitter. Uh, if you pick up this month's edition of 225 Magazine, uh, Boudreaux's is featured in it. They have like a, a, a mix um, feature, uh, a mixology feature. And uh, Boudreaux is listed on there. So very cool. Thanks to 225 for, uh, for, for recognizing our friends over at Boudreaux. And I told I tell you, man, if y'all are uh, put together maybe like holiday gift baskets for clients or whatever, and you want something Louisiana in it, these are great, man. Uh, it's a great idea. So you can go to BoudreauxMix.com, order online, they'll ship anywhere. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. Get back to those questions. By the way, uh, Tyler D., what's up? The wild man, Tyler D. Laura Scarley, good morning. Or Scarl. Devin Kelly, good morning. Uh, Matt Lusto, back in Houston. No more watching the Saints from Cali for me. Just kidding. Not that superstitious. <sighs> Saints got to do better, bro. I think they'll bounce back. Um, Mark tried the margarita mix last night. It's really good. Thank you, Mark. Appreciate that. Uh, let's see. UL plays ULL plays right after game day. Game day. Sonia, Eric Sonia. Who do they play? I, I really don't even know. I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, oh. Are they playing at? They're playing App State, aren't they? Or is that? Or is that Nickel? They're playing App State, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter. Brian Greer, good morning. Corey Schwest, good morning. Stephen Miller, high flying offense first shutout defense. Zachary versus West Monroe should be a great one. Oh, you saw that last night, man. I do. First of all, as much as I hate West Monroe, you better believe I'll pull for whoever's playing West Monroe. Secondly, I love David Brewerton and all those guys at Zachary, man. Uh, I know I mentioned it before, but Brewerton, for those who don't know, Zachary High is just north of Baton Rouge. Um, and they're they're going to state championship game. Um, uh, their coach, David Brewerton, was my offensive line coach, my freshman offensive line coach at Catholic High. And now he's won a couple state titles and he's doing awesome stuff. So 
definitely pulling for him. Um, Lance Hill, hopefully Coach Wade and those men play defense. I talked about Will Wade, no doubt, man. Um, play Grambling today. The issue will not be in doubt. They, um, uh, they'll physically just grab no match for LSU. But what I want to see from LSU tonight, uh, definitely want to see him defend better, but I want to see him score from the low block. Uh, they're settling too much for bad jump shots when they don't need to. And mostly, I want to see Nas Reed set up in the post. Like, I want to see Nas Reed start to dominate in the post because LSU is going to need that, man. They got enough guards that can handle the ball. They need the 6'10 guy who's carved out of stone to go play in the block and move some bodies. So hopefully we see that tonight. Um, yeah, Tim said, so, sorry about that. I'm just getting to the comments that we are talking about. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. About Kareem Hunt. Yeah, I saw the video last night. Uh, actually, uh, Terry, Terry and I were talking last night about it off air. Luckily, he called me last night. We are talking on the phone. Um, and, uh, man, for me, the, the gauge is always going to be, okay, think about whoever is the woman in your life that's most important. If it's your sister, your daughter, your wife, mom, whoever. And imagine that's her in that video. How do you feel about it? And whatever that reaction is, is how you should feel about this. So I, <coughs> excuse me. So I, I do understand. Oh, I think I hurt my neck. That sneeze, God dog. That's how you know you're getting old. <laughs> Rusty A Bear, what's up? Kerry Hughes, good morning. Raul Erdialis, good morning. Rue, good to see you there, man. Uh, Mark Allen, have you gotten that 500 bucks yet? We, hey man, we called out Dwayne all day yesterday on the show. <laughs> not a word, bro. Not a word. Uh, uh, Mitzi and Tony Bonadonna, good morning. <laughs> bet, bet, bet. Uh, let's see. Thank you, Elise. Appreciate that. Brady Smith, will Cream Hunt get the rare ice treatment? Probably. Probably. You know, the, the NFL... <laughs> Excuse me, I know I'm, I'm gross and snotty this morning. I apologize. It's just like all these allergies and everything acting up. I took some clarity and hopefully it starts to work. Um, I mean, I, I, I get it. Uh, the NFL is not going to walk down that road again. Uh, Luke Best, good morning. Stephen Miller, Tom Herman, 21 1 and 1 against the spread as an underdog as a head coach. Who you got, Matt? Actually, I don't, I don't know if that's right, Stephen. Uh, um, Phil Steele told us yesterday he's 14 and 1 against the spread with 10 outright wins as an underdog, as a head coach. Um, and by the way, I like Texas to win the game. Um, I, know, I know what people say, it's hard to beat a team twice. Uh, but I, if you watch that first game with Texas and, and Oklahoma, Texas can actually play D. Texas led by 21 with eight minutes to go. Um, I mean, it was, it was not close. Texas led by 21 with eight minutes to go. And then they just, like as a young team, trying to figure out how to close those games, Oklahoma stormed back. It was just boom, boom, boom. Um, one, one of the Oklahoma scores, they got a punt, and first play was a 67-yard Kyler Murray run. So um, I, I, just, I think Texas plays defense. I think, I think they're all, Oklahoma can't stop anybody, so I don't think Texas will score any less. And I think Texas plays defense. So uh, I'll pick Texas to win. And if that happens, that means Texas goes sugar um, and Ohio State likely goes to the playoff, which means Michigan goes Rose. So then you have to decide LSU, Oklahoma, Florida, group of five champ um, and so that, that could alter who LSU plays in the bowl game Jack Davis good morning Matt I'm excited to see how ESPN sets up, sets up at Alcorn State for the SWAC championship against our Southern Jags uh, what time is that game by the way Kevin told her boy we've hit the lull of football season I, you hadn't hit the lull I mean it, the lull ain't here it's over I mean today's the last day until bowl uh, Jeb, you need a bourbon and whiskey show. You got uh, talking about it, talking about doing something like that. So, be on it soon. Douglas Duhon, uh, Keith Scalco, 
Thanks for the bourbon lessons. Answered one of my questions. You got that, dude. Sure. Lenny, I had a dream the Buckeyes win 54-6 to six today. I'm not even an OSU fan. But when you're dreaming about teams you don't even care about, Let's, uh, let's see if they need to do another round of those shirts. I'm definitely in. Uh, shout out Colonel. Second round of the FCS playoffs. That a boy. Kerry Hughes. I wonder if the folks at Bengals and Bandits have the graphic on a file. Can reprint another round of shirts. Kerry, I'm sure they do. Uh, and I know Eric well over there. Um, oh, no. It's like a new record, bud. You slept till 840. Wow. Oh, my little boy. I got a Drew Monster. Oh, my little boy. This is like a world record, y'all. 842. He's been a little sick. Got him swabbed yesterday and tested for all of those, uh, Nasty viruses, thankfully it's just a cold. Oh, let's see, Roland Guitro, Scott Zachary, Marcus Roy, good morning. Paul Beckman, good morning. Um, Matt, are they replacing you? <laughs> no, Roland, they're not replacing me, man. Uh, that was that was a joke. Uh, I, I shared it a little bit ago. I tweeted a picture, a side-by-side -side of Gordy and, and the character Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. Just as a joke. And so Gordy replied to it by saying, Hi, oh, it's okay. So Gordy replied with that tweet about, We're, we're hiring a new host. He was just joking. Oh, 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 Is this dad's show? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Go for a walk around. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You gotta put it in your backpack. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all have a good day. I'm going to go take care of him. See y'all.